Hey Aries and welcome to your April 2019 Love Tarot reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Aries signs. Um, this will not resonate with everybody so just take what fits and leave what don't. So, you guys already had two cards come out. The Seven of Cups in reverse and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, the chariot in the upright and the queen of swords in the upright. You guys also have the sun in the reverse. And the knight of pentacles in reverse. Your guys's uh Energy that you are leaving behind. Okay. So you guys have the Two of Wands, the Knight of Cups in Reverse, the Six of Cups in Reverse, Judgment in Reverse, and the Queen of Cups. So I'm doing your guys' reading a little bit different this month. Um... And you'll see kind of how it will go. Your guys' bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. So let's tip you guys on down here so you can kind of get a little glance at your guys' cards. So, okay. We will start with the energy that you are leaving behind. Um, you're kind of in this place um, right now, Aries, where you're just discontent. You may appear to have like success on the outside, but your inner happiness is, is really lacking. You're not liking your circumstances or your current situation. Um, you could be feeling spiritual emptiness. Your mind is just really distracted, dissatisfied. Um, you just feel unfulfilled. Yeah, you're, you could be focusing on lack as well. You're leaving that behind. You're, you're choosing to leave behind that feeling of dissatisfaction, that division of thought, of purpose, of mind. You are putting that in the past because um, up to this point, you could have felt like you haven't deserved love. You you didn't receive love because of, of you were unreceiving because it was your fault. You're also leaving that in the past due to a situation that dissolved between you and another person where um, the relationship just could not make it through the um, the outward, the environment around it. Um, you are needing some like spiritual enlightenment. You are needing some healing at this time due to somebody who just was no longer emotionally on your side, who didn't put your emotions first or even second. It seemed like they were only in it for themselves. They only cared what happened to them. They only cared that they were satisfied. Um, you're leaving all that behind, all that in the past. Um, and it's really because you're coming in to a new download. You're coming into um, a new sense of self. You're figuring things out. Um, an illusion that you had thought before with this person, with yourself, it is being shattered. Um, you are having a more realistic outlook um, to the world, to your relationship, to your situation. And uh, you could be resisting temptation for some of you as well. Let's see. What do I want to clarify with let's I think I'm going to clarify with the Celtic tarot here why is the seven of cups here for Aries the eight of wands and the eight of swords yeah you are opening up communication or somebody is opening up communication to you um, Aries and letting you know that they're no longer stuck or you're letting somebody know that you're no longer waiting around you are done you are putting that energy you're leaving it in the past. You're no longer going to allow this person's confusion, this person's um, lack of knowing what the hell they want to keep you in a place of stuck, to keep you feeling like you're trapped, 
in a situation where you're not happy and you are opening up that communication and letting that person know that I'm, I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm leaving that in the past. Um, I'm no longer, I'm no, or I'm resisting the temptation to stick around for this person that doesn't treat me right. And I am having a more realistic outlook to my future. I'm taking this in my hands. I'm no longer going to allow um, this person's back and forth energy to um, affect my life. And I'm no longer going to be a secret that somebody can just come in and out of my life on. So with the page of swords in reverse, you um, could be lacking enthusiasm right now. <clears throat> Some of you are dealing with fear and anxiety. They're holding you back from doing what it is that you want. It's saying don't let an uh, opportunity pass you by because of fear or not being prepared. If Be prepared for any opportunity that comes your way, any door that may open. And if something new comes your way, do not let fear stand in your way because that is a huge opportunity coming for you um, in the month of April. Why is the Page of Swords here for Aries? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, and it's just going to bring you to that new, this opportunity that's coming towards you. It's going to give you so much confidence, so much happiness, so um, much fire in you again, so much passion. This is something that you're passionate about. Um, you're not going to allow fear and anxiety to hold you back from doing what you want anymore because you're gaining that confidence. So allow all doors to open because you never know what those doors, what kind of opportunity lies within, within there for you. Why is the chariot here? Okay. So let's see. Why is the chariot here? Justice wanted to come out, but it didn't come out all the way. Okay, so um, with the chariot, you guys are really, um, with this queen of wands, you're moving into the chariot energy. So you are getting um, a new passion about something or getting the courage to follow your passion, getting the courage to take that opportunity. And you are riding the chariot on out of here. You're leaving all this negative energy behind and you are really an unstoppable movement in the month of April, if you allow it. Um, you're like a warrior on a mission. You are out to find your happiness, your joy, your bliss. Um, you are finding inspiration and it's moving you forward, making you truly unstoppable and bringing you balance again, bringing you, um, your finances are going to start balancing out. Your emotions are going to balance out. Um, and this, uh, and this card or this deck they're not giving any more to any one person, but they are keeping the energy for themselves um, and sharing that energy in a way that is an equal, um, somebody equally giving it back to you, whether that be a job, a person, a family member. Um, but this inspiration is really going to move you to balance. It's really going to find you a beautiful place emotionally, mentally, and physically um, by taking this opportunity, by having the confidence to move forward, and by leaving this other energy behind. You're also finding, I'm hearing personal strength, personal glory, and spiritual wisdom. Wow, you're choosing to, um, you're preparing for change. You're choosing to move forward. And this is going to bring you huge spiritual wisdom, huge opportunities. Wow, that's a very powerful card for you, Aries. With the Queen of Swords, um, some of you could be missing a loved one. You're feeling kind of lonely. Um, even though you have a deep sense of longing for someone and possible inner sadness, you are becoming very powerful and determined to cut yourself away from this energy because it's you know it's not good for you anymore. Why is this queen of swords here for Aries? Thank you.
Yeah, the Five of Cauldrons and the Five of Wands. See, you know that this has to change. You know you have to cut yourself away from the situation, Aries. And fives are all about change. You are no longer um, allowing the conflict in your life. You don't need it. You don't want it. You're, you are going through it. That's what I was saying. You're going through a little bit of sadness. You could be yearning for this person. A sense of longing, longing inward sadness, loneliness. But... You know that you have to cut yourself away from the situation because you are finding the power. You're you're gaining power and you are determined to release this energy that's really just bringing down your your whole like they're like killing your vibe, you know? So you are releasing that inner conflict and you are releasing that um, the people in your life that are causing you conflict is like outer conflict as well with the sun in reverse um it's saying here that you, happiness is possible for you um and so is contentment it can be attained but uh yeah with the queen of cups but you need to um focus some of you need to possibly focus on your children more um your children could be um like acting out in need of attention, but that's not for all of you. Um, you're nourishing yourself, loving yourself. Um, it's going to bring you that contentment and happiness, but you have to fill your own cup and nourish your own mind, body, and soul before you can um, attain that. And you are going, I mean, you are in the process of being enlightened to, ooh, a whole different life like underneath the page of swords here things that you didn't think were possible aries are coming in for you with those opportunities all right what is this knight of pentacles all about <clears throat> the nine of wands in reverse so um right now you kind of have a lack of a plan um you they're cautioning you not to be reckless in your movement um and Moving too quickly uh, could cause like recklessness. Recklessness could culminate in your chaos from this situation. So don't move too quickly, um, but do not shut the door to opportunity because you are you are no longer fighting for this connection that was not good. This person that did made you feel, um, you know, discontent and unhappiness on the inside and spiritual emptiness and dissatisfaction with your relationship and made you feel like you didn't deserve love and, you know, cut this tie between the two of you and spiritually drained you and just emotionally was not there for you. You are giving that up and you are moving away from that. Could be an earth sign or a fire sign, but um, you're no longer going to allow this person to juggle your energy. You are putting a stop to that because you are allowing your inner guide to, to lead the way, to bring you to places that you are meant to be. And uh, you are going to find success there, Aries. So once again, this is the energy you are leaving behind. Beautiful. Um, you are letting this person know that put you in the state of confusion, that you're no longer sticking around. You're no longer staying stuck for them. You are uh, communicating that to them. Do not give up a door of opportunity out of fear. Have that confidence. Have that courage. Be that queen of wands and open that door of opportunity um, with courage and confidence because you got this. You are attaining spiritual um, wisdom. You are uh, finding inspiration and moving forward. You're finding personal glory. You are a warrior on a mission and you are unstoppable at this moment. And you are going to bring balance to your own life. Um, cutting yourself away, even though it hurts, even though it makes you sad, you are cutting yourself away from this conflict from this person that has more than you or you having more than one person you could be mourning the loss of this person but you are being strong and powerful and determined to cut yourself away from this energy bringing you in self-love self-happiness you will find inner contentment once you fill your own cup with that loving nourishing energy that you deserve for yourself um just do not move too fast or recklessly and this is going to be success for you you are following your inner guide with the high priestess and the six of uh Swords, most definitely you are letting your intuition lead the way and it is bringing you to success and happiness. 
So let's see what our romance angels will have for the month of April for Aries. Thank you. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So have faith when you are allowing your intuition to guide you. This situation is calling for you to trust your inner voice, your inner guide, trust your angels, trust the universe, trust your intuition, because um, right now the situation is calling for you to have faith because things are changing for you, but they are changing for the better Aries and positive things are coming your direction. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message for April. I did a little bit different just to kind of um, not necessarily focus in on love, but to focus Focus in on all energy and see what changes you guys have coming up for the month, what you're letting go of, what you have coming in for you. So I hope you enjoyed this message. I send you guys all love, light, and God bless.